Oh, hey guys. Yeah, I was just thinking back to 2018, the summer of 2018, when I was contracted to shoot a U-Triple-S-A girls fast pitch softball tournament. It's a five-day tournament. Had a great time shooting it. But also during that time, I decided to do something to kind of help you entry-level sports photographers out. For those of you who want to get from the DSLR, maybe get into mirrorless and start shooting sports. So what did I do? Let me reminisce one more time. Hey everybody, Craig here, out here at a softball tournament, testing out the Sony A6000, along with the 55 to 210 millimeter Sony lens. Yeah, that's right. I rented the Sony A6000 and the Sony 55 to 210 millimeter 4.5 to 6.3, what's well, basically a kit lens. Now the kit lens, what that is, is you get a good camera body like the Sony A6000, but you need to get a lens with it, but you want to keep the cost down. So you design a camera lens that's not so great, not so bad, and you kind of bundle it all up together so you can at least get started shooting. So that's what that lens really is for. Now the combination, not very good. The camera body, really good camera body, one of the fastest autofocusing systems alive at the time, but the camera lens wasn't very sharp in my opinion. Some people love it. It's a couple hundred dollars, I think last time I checked just for the lens. I didn't like it at all. I thought it was uh, not very sharp at all, especially if you're shooting. I was shooting softball, obviously. So you got to get some good reach, some good distance. You have to really zoom in. You know, and 210 isn't much of a reach, really. But hey, you know, it's on a crop sensor body, so that helps a little bit. What I decided to do was maybe possibly purchase the Sony A6000 because I liked it so much. I thought it was a great camera, autofocusing system, incredible. So I, so I bought it. But the problem was I was needed a lens and I didn't want to go to the 55 to 210 lens because I just, but it was basketball season when I purchased the camera and wrestling was going on. I thought I'm inside. I don't need a lot of reach. So what the heck? Sony 50 millimeter 1.8 prime lens, sweet lens. Put this combination together and shooting basketball and wrestling the results were pretty Pretty, pretty good. I was really impressed with it. I wouldn't say they were epic because I don't really think anything could be epic, epic, epic. But combination was great. And hey, in fact, let's do this. Let's take a look at some of the photos I took with this combination. And then we'll come back and maybe talk about it a little bit more. And maybe we can get you guys on your way to the mirrorless camera adventure. There's a good chance that many of you are already familiar with the specs for the Sony A6000 and possibly the Sony 50mm 1.8 lens, but if you're not, let me just point out a couple of little things that I find interesting. The Sony A6000 is a 24 megapixel APS-C camera, which means it's a crop sensor camera. It does have 179 focal points, which is great for the autofocusing system, and it shoots up to 11 frames per second. Now let's move to the lens. The lens there's actually two of them that are available. They're 50 millimeter 1.8. One is a portrait lens and it has the optical steady shot and the other is a standard lens. When I was doing my research, I found out the portrait lens is sharper than the standard lens. So I opted to get that lens instead. However, there's a $50 price difference. So if you're on a budget and you're thinking about getting one of these lenses, take that into account. Now let's take a look at some photos. I'm gonna be using Lightroom. That way we can see the settings such as this photo here is pretty good looking photo taken with this combination. One one thousandth of a second, ISO 2500 and 1.8 was the aperture setting or your f-stop. Now this was a pretty nice looking gym when I walked into it. Plenty of lights. You can zoom in and you can see it's pretty sharp. Second photo. I'm going to come back to this one. I got a little more to say about it. So let's just skip past it real fast. Now this was one of those gyms I walked into and I saw the principal and said, hey, could you turn on the lights for me? He just laughed and just walked away. But I'm pretty close. I'm down underneath the basket, dark over in this area because the gym really didn't have any lighting. We can zoom in a little bit. May it may look a little grainy, a little noisy, but that's because the ISO is at 5,000. 1 800th of a second, F2.0. 
testing out different settings so I can see what's going to work the best. This was a great shot. You can see the actions right in front of me. There's no cropping. This is exactly how it looked. And by the way, these are all straight out of the camera photos. I've done no editing to them. But you can see it's pretty sharp. You can read everything really good. Nice and crisp and clear. ISO 3200 on this one. F2.0 for the aperture. And 1 640th of a second. Let's try and drop the ISO down just to kind of get it a little clearer picture. So it's not, not quite as noisy as the other one was. But an action happened right in front of me. And this camera just locked on focus real fast. And that's the photo that came out of it. This was a different gym. Now in this gym, the lighting was pretty good. You can see the shot. Grab the action really well. You zoom in. Got some great expressions. Got the hair flying in the air. Now we move on to some wrestling. Now in this wrestling shot, you can see it's, it's pretty sharp. Happened right in front of me. Had some really good lighting. This was in a separate area. It wasn't in the actual gym of the high school. So they had a whole row of lights, like in a classroom setting. So plenty of light was coming in. And that's why I'm down the ISO. As you can see, it's 2500, 1.8, 1 and 1 800th of a second. Oh, hey, look, he's bleeding. He was bleeding. Ha! <laughs> Crazy. There's another wrestling one. This was taken in the gym. It's a little bit darker. An ISO 2500, aperture 1.8, 1 640th of a second. So now let's go back to the other one I want to talk about. Okay, let's go to this one first. You can see I'm right under the basket, right under the basket, looking directly through here because that's most. Most players are right-handed and they come in on that side. Now here's what the one, here's one problem with this camera lens combination. He's out past the three-point line. I'm way under the basket by about two feet. If you zoom in, you can see the sharpness just isn't quite there. It's not quite as clear and tack sharp as it should be. And I found when you get out past the three-point line, unless you're over on this side, obviously, because you're real close, yeah, the sharpness starts to fall off. But anything inside in this area along next to you it's it's going to look great that's a sampling of the photos i took i actually shot over 8,000 photos in two months but then again when you're shooting at 11 frames per second it doesn't take long to rack up those numbers also these are real life situations i walked into the gym not knowing what to expect in most of them i've been to a couple of these but one from the really dark gym, I walked in and seriously, it was like, could you turn on the lights? Are they, all, are they all on and working? And the principal assured me everything was working fine. Oh, and here's something really cool that you never hear anybody talk about. When I was looking through this, it's almost like I had 20-20 vision. I could shoot like this. Didn't have to close this eye at all. It's almost like my other eye was just seeing normal, like natural, like 20-20 vision. So I could just do, 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 do. It worked out really well. Just... A little tidbit in case you're interested. All right, back to you, Craig. Sony A6000, Sony 50 millimeter, 1.8 lens. My Vanna White impersonation. Ooh, ah, it looks good, right? $448 is what I spent for the camera body. $273 for the lens itself. $721-ish. Not too bad to get started. And did you notice? $409 for the camera body now? That's pretty good. So if you're looking to get into sports photography, this combination would be good, especially if you're shooting inside basketball wrestling volleyball those type of sports but you do have one little problem when you go to back outside in the spring after those winter cold months inside a gymnasium you're getting all stuffed up and like get me out of here you got to get outside and shoot softball lacrosse baseball all those fun things you need more reach this little lens this combination is good but you just can't get the reach you need to get those great shots so you need a different lens now, I usually use like this one. This is a 50, this is a 150 to 500 Sigma lens. I got this for about $900. It won't fit on here, obviously. You can get an adapter, but why do that? If you want to stick with the Sony stuff, you're going to have to get a different lens. Like I said earlier, the 70 to 200 is like $2,500. That's a lot. Now, there is the 70 to 300 lens, which is about $1,100. You can get pretty cheap used for about 800 so that's not too bad getting into it. You know, 1200 You can be outside shooting sports. And in fact, I've been using that lens with this camera, and I'll be doing another review on that as well. But right now, this is some quick information for you guys. Leave some uh, comments in below and maybe some questions if you have them. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, whatever feels good to you guys. Hey, thanks for joining me. I'm going to grab some of this gear because it's some really nice weather outside, and I heard there's some games happening outside. So I'm going to get out and shoot.